<laughs> Hi, people. This is Gio for a round table. Okay, I had my introduction done and it didn't go through, so I have to do it a couple weeks or months later. And this is my introduction of my Geo world, okay? And the way I'm basically based on, on is because movies, actors cannot do more than 10 years until they get old, they get down, and you can do like what? One more movie per two years. And then it, it, that includes big contracts and everything. So you have to look at a, a way that the movie has to be finished or the actors, because most of them, they, they're, they're fed up. Being in trying to be in shape or just playing the same role or they don't have enough family time because they get star stardom and they're like oh, I I own the world and this is what I want this is what I want this like Harry Potter was smartest one they have the biggest contract go look we own you for four years bang that's it that's all or five years whatever it was uh, five movies whatever no same thing with with, with movies as much as the uh, Marvel DC whatever you an actor could do one movie every two years. That's 10, to 10, to 10 years, five movies. You, if you want them to make six, okay, now you're pressing your luck. There's death. There's people who, like, who, well, they go into drugs and this and this and that, attitude or this and this. So it gets complicated sometimes, certain things, okay? So you can't, that's why I look at, and, and forget, you cannot make a movie based on comic books uh, because a comic book, it's almost like per, per, per year, like this example, like Superman. Okay, he has he has two of his comic books. Then he has uh, Superman and action. Then you have Batman and Superman. Then not including mini series of Superman. Not including his in Justice League. Not including make special appearance over here and uh, the Supergirl and this and this and this. So you think about example, there is like there's a tw uh, tw twelve months right. Easily has fifty stories on Superman per year. Now Superman is over uh, almost close to one hundred years old. So you think about that's five thousand stories give or take fast fast. How can a movie presenting Superman can make uh, you compact in there five thousand stories? Because they did it with Batman meets uh, Batman versus Sup uh, Batman versus Superman, and it sucked because they would Doomsday. They want to put this. And they want to put that. They want to, uh, dark, 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 dark Batman and uh, evil Superman and this, and it got destroyed completely because it didn't make sense. It's like a lot of vegetable and a vegetable soup. You you don't know what vegetable you're tasting anymore. So that's, that's, that's more of the story. So you can't do a lot of things that. And then comic, like say, cartoons. They could do easily a year. 20 stories. So you cannot make a comic book movie 100% uh, true to comic books. And then everybody's different opinion. What was the best Superman story or Batman or... Okay, I'll be a Captain America and then whatever Thor. So everybody has a different opinion. Oh, this is the best. This is the, this, this, this. You, ne you, you never have a win-win situation, whatever you do. So you always got to do what you think is the best for the world. And out of that, Marvel is the best. Because them, what the Marvel did to compare to DC is they put they went more finding amazing directors and writers. And then they went after actors who weren't A-listers. They were B-listers. DC did the opposite. They went for the big A-lister actors, oh, because we're gonna attract them in with, with these big actors and actresses, and the writers were eh, and their story sucked. Because what happened, these 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 writers, they go, okay, we'll take the best of the, the, the stories of, of, of their time and we'll make it to a movie. It doesn't work sometimes, Mo sometimes or most of the time. And then when it's too much like the comic book, it's predictable. Yeah, okay, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. So it's not worth it. It's like me, example, Spider-Man, I, I, I've been collecting so many years, then I got fed up because it always repeats itself. Peter Parker is, is top of the hill, then he goes down the hill. Everybody loves him, and everybody, everybody hates him. Uh, all the women want him, then all of a sudden he, he has no women, no sex, no nothing, he's down. Then he's, then he's full of money, then he's broke. It got pathetically, uh, then it's repeating itself. Oh, I seen it, you know, the expression, seen it, did it, done it. But then what was the ultimate Spider-Man? Loved it. Because you know why? Nothing made sense to the other Spider-Man. The clones, uh, the Scorpion was a clone of Spy uh, Peter Parker. Uh, Spider-Girl, Spider Spider-Girl, Spider-Woman is a, clone, a female clone of him. It was incredible because I didn't know where the guy was going with the storyline. And I felt like example, I, 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 like example, each issue, I, I, sat, I sat my ass on a chair and I put a belt and I go, okay, Bring me this joyride. Let me see where it goes. That's what it's supposed to be. Movie, same thing. If it's predictable, I, get, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, I already know what the, how the movie's going to finish. Ooh, the Hollywood ending. You big crappy do. 
I want to be impressed. I want to be sur- I want to be go with, where are you going to go with the storyline? Like uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. I was amazing. Imp- I, I want to see Guardian of the Galaxy. I'm like, oh boy, I'm going to go see it with Rocket Raccoon. And goes, the Guardian of the Galaxy, I like the, the, other, the other version. Not the one, the original one with uh, Jupiter and the Mars and all that. But I like the, the original, uh, the s- second one with the dog from Russia. And because there was a Nova and there was those are a lot of powerful people, uh, Moon Dragon and all that. That was the version I like the best uh, of the Garden Galaxy. But I go, how can Raccoon and the, the I Am Groot and all that actually be an amazing movie? Guess what? I was so ballistically wrong. It was one, I went there, I seen the movie two in a row. I sat down, I go, I'm watching it like, because I missed a bit in the beginning, and I watched it a second time. And it flew by. So when you have a great creative team, okay, writers uh, with a good, the storyline is, is incredible and it could be as long as you want, it's going to pass to a blur because it's well done. And if the story sucks, I don't give that how short it is, or how long, you want to go home or you want to go, excuse me, can you take a break? Because I got I to gotta go take a, I take a break, man. Like uh, I, I don't smoke marijuana and I'll probably end up smoking marijuana because of the, the movies, how bad it is, okay? And that's how, how it is. You So movies... It's uh, take a person, take get, when you see the audience go there, bring them to a trip. And most of those people in there, some of them have never heard, never read a, that much comic books in their life because their boyfriend or girlfriends read it and they go, okay, let's, let's go. So it, make them get interested, make them involved. And that's how it is comic books, movies. So, me, my, my storyline is a point that I don't see every actor and actresses there for long. And if I will make them like appear in 10 movies, it's because. When I'm that, when I have him or her in the third uh, season, season five, whatever the fifth movie, I'll make videos of her or him, of other clips that I'll need her later on in the future, because because she makes a little mini guest appearance and she looks that age at that time, is not except being like she looks ten years older in Botox time, you know. So that's it. So that's how how I look at the introduction thing, okay? And Marvel, they see, and I had other things I want to say. But even the comic books and all that, because I read a lot of comic books in my, my times too. And trust me, I'm trying to make you guys avoid all the mistakes I did. Like a lot of comic books, I bought, oh, it's going to be big and this and this. And then I go, I go, what an idiot. I should have bought this. I should have won that. Or I just should, should have saved money. I should have saved about three issues less because we're crap later on. So I'm trying to av- avoid you guys becoming the mistakes I did in comics. Because when I look at my old comic books and sometimes I open a box, I go, holy cow, I bought this crap. I bought this crap. And then, and so I don't want you guys to go through those mistakes. So that's it. that's my introduction of my comic world and the movies. And as I said in there, uh, I said in the Avengers. I'm next. I'm doing uh, I did the Avengers one to seven. Now I'm not gonna do the next Avengers or Young Avengers yet. Okay, uh, who knows? Maybe later on if, if I, I'm still in, the, in this podcast and it's ten years later it's like okay I'm running out of ideas. There you go. But I'm I have one is Hawk, Hawk World. I have Batman, the continuation of the new the new one. Uh, Superman, I'm redoing it completely. Then I have uh, the Outsiders, Mike and the Outsiders, Justice League. I have uh, the Superman. So there's gonna be a lot of things that I'm gonna do. But the next one is Justice League because I want to outrace the movie. So you cannot say, oh, you still, oh yeah. And my favorite Lobo. I love Lobo and Lobo. This I, was, I said it in my uh, podcast and everything. Jason Maboa, people listen to me. He should have been Lobo. Because in the in Justice League, okay, when he was in first appearance and he's riding the Batman mobile and he's at the pub and all that. I don't know about you. I see no Aquaman in any cartoon, movies, in my lifetime that Aquaman act like that. Aquaman is a pure gentleman. Why change it? So that's how important the comic books are now. Now they're changing so much to try to be dramatically changing. Oh, this is the new gen. Then what happens in the, later on? Oh, we're going to change, change. And it's getting pathetically, pathetically stupid. Jason Boa shouldn't have been a Aquaman. He should have been Lobo. And think of it. He would have been Lobo in space like Deadpool. Because don't forget, Lobo is like Deadpool. He's 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 a, he's a, ma- a maverick. Uh, he he doesn't he like he'll kill bad people like 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 this and good people is like oh, okay and he'll be a try to be a, a badass remark. Like, he doesn't care, but he really is a softy inside. But like Deadpool, but DC ruined it because Jason Maboa. Look, t- look, don't look at me. Look at Jason Maboa when he does this league, and look at Lobo, the original Lobo because there's a two two three version, but the original version of Lobo example. 
when he has a big motorcycle in space and everything. That's him. You think of it. Just my boy loves motorcycle. He has a, he's a natural to be global. So see, that's how people make mistakes, and I don't see the logic in that. And Aquaman, they could take any per person. I mean, any blonde guy and everything, you can make him to Aquaman, you know? But Jason Maboa, he, like, there's nobody else could typecast Lobo better than he does. Nobody. He was perfectly made for that role. Don't forget, Captain America, before he came Captain America, Chris, whatever his name is, okay? Evans. I think it takes my brains more on. He was Thor in Fantastic Four. So I think it changed every single so point. Because some of these people, they, they, they play one role and then play another superhero role in another place. Then they play another role. It's like, what happened? They're cloning people. So that's it. I'm going to let you guys go because there's other things I wanted to say, but I completely forgot because, yeah, Omega, Omega, Omega pills not that doing nothing in my brains over here. So that's it, guys. So this is my introduction. Enjoy. Enjoy the ride and everything. And the next time you're going to see with a different T-shirt and everything, or shirt, sweater, whatever, it will be the DC world now. Well, just leak. Okay, guys, take care. I hope you enjoyed this introduction. And if you're a troll or not troll, like I said a long time, I got uh, my friend Steven, and we call him Thor. He loves trolls. He will throw you the hammer. So you guys take care because it's already 11 minutes. Okay, over 11 minutes. Ciao, guys.